Hey everybody, it's Craig Victor here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do accurate color calibration using the Spider Checker Capture Pro. So basically, I've already metered my light, and it's the light that I'm going to use for the shoot. So I'm going to take a shot of this, and then I'm going to bring it into Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. So let's just take a shot of this, and then we'll get to the Lightroom portion in a second. All right, okay, here we are in Lightroom, and here's a shot of the target of the spider checker that we took on location. So let's get started. So if you look at the top, you can see we have some letters, and if you look at the left, we have some numbers, and we also have little white dots. Now, the neutral color balance or white color balance square is right here, E2, so we're gonna use that in a second. But first, we're gonna crop in to those white dots that I just showed you, so I'm just gonna bring the crop tool down, I'll bring it up, and then I can shift this and I can also just come to the corner and I can level that because you can see that wasn't level. And we're not quite centered. I'll just bring it in a little more. I could shift that over and it's looking pretty good. It's still just a little bit crooked there. Let's just straighten that. And so we've cropped it in pretty good. I think I'll bring that up just a touch. And you can see we've got all our colors right there and they're all gonna fit. It's looking pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is hit return. Now here's this E2 square again. Now if you come over to the right, you can see we're at 6600 Kelvin plus 10. I'm gonna use the white balance tool and we're gonna neutralize our white balance. Now if you look to the upper right before I do that, look to the upper right below the histogram, you can see that it's 92.2 for red, the, the green. See, they're not exactly the same. I click on there and then boom, red, green, and blue are all the same. We have a neutral color balance. Now the next step I wanna do is I wanna to check to see what this is. Now the white square here at the top, that's 96.7. We want this more around 90% and this bottom black square, we want this around 4%. So to adjust this white square, I'm gonna use my exposure. I'm gonna drop it down about one full stop and that should get us close to the range there. So I'm gonna come over and check it again and Yep, we're pretty close to 90% right there. So let's just check the black square. We're at about 19. So I can bring my shadows down. I can bring that down to about there. And I can bring my blacks down around the same amount. And we'll see what we got. Now look at that, 3.8. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm going to double check here. 89.2. That's pretty close. I'm going to leave it like that. Next step is to export this image as a TIFF. And then we're going to bring it into the software to create a custom color profile. I'm going to call this Spider... We'll call this Spider 2 because I've already done this. And then we look at it here. We've got a TIFF, no compression, color space of WRGB 1998, 16 bits, resolution 240. I'm going to export that to my desktop. Once that happens in Lightroom, you're going to hear a little sound. Now I'm going to close Lightroom because I need to close it in order it, for it to find the color profile. So I'm going to close it right now. Now we have this image on my desktop and we already have the Spider Checker software open. I'm just gonna drag that, Spider 2. I'm gonna drag that right into here. Now you can see we have some choices. We have saturation, color metric, portrait. I'm gonna choose color metric. Now you can experiment with these and see if you see a difference. Now I'm gonna save this to Lightroom and I'm gonna give it a name because basically we're gonna use this name. It's gonna show up and then we're gonna use it to set a preset. So we're gonna save it to Lightroom, we're gonna save calibration. So we're gonna click save. Now here's where we set our name. We're gonna call this one, we'll call it Spider, and we'll say okay. Now we're just gonna quit this, and we're gonna go back to Lightroom. Okay, so we're gonna open Lightroom again, and now we're gonna apply this color profile. Now you can also, do this in Adobe Camera Raw, and I'll show you really quickly how to do that in a second. Now, if you come over here, I'm just gonna close History, I'm gonna open Presets, and I have a ton of presets. But if you come down to User Presets, you can see here we have Spider. So what I can do is I can apply that to this, but I can also apply this preset to all the images. So let's say we wanna to go to just this image right here. Now this isn't calibrated, so I'm just gonna click on the Spider preset, and then you're gonna see the colors change, and where you really see that take place is if we come down to here. Now you can see all of these have been adjusted. Now the only thing about this is the white balance is off as well. So we wanna come back here, we wanna check our white balance. I'm gonna apply this preset just to make sure we have all our colors. And then I'm gonna click the white balance tool and we're gonna set our neutral white balance. So that's saying 7450 minus five. So we've already applied the preset, we just have to adjust the white balance. 
So we'll bring it up to about 74. Ah, let's say that's pretty close. And then minus five. Now you could tweak this to taste if you want, but that should get us in the ballpark. So you could see if we compare that image to this image, we have much improved color. And you could see here too, like I mentioned the HSL grayscale. Well, you could see all the adjustments it's made to hue, saturation, and luminance for each color. But if you look over here, you could see these are all zero. So what I could do is just apply that preset, spider, and you see everything jump. So it adjusts your colors, and then all we have to do is adjust the white balance, so the Kelvin and the tint. So we'll just adjust that. And you can always play with this. I mean, this is just a good place to get started, in my opinion. You can kind of adjust it any way you want to your personal preference, but I think it's always good to start with a neutral white balance and adjust your colors. And then if you want to make some creative choices from there, that's up to you. So that's how you do that in Lightroom. I think what I'll do is do a part two of this for people who use Adobe Camera Raw. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with your fellow photographers on Facebook and Twitter and the web. And make sure you check out the rest of my videos. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.